to our Friday Assembly. We would like to recognize and acknowledge the Songhees and Esquimalt nations on whose traditional lands we live, work, play and learn. Please stand for O Canada and the School Song. creatures great and small, and the popping ground for one of the most clever and illustrious creatures, the plastic bag. Today we explore the cycle of life for this curious creature, the plastic bag, on its migration to its home, the Pacific Ocean. Once released into the wild, the plastic bag is unsure of itself. It falters at first, but soon, with some help from the wind, the bag will be airborne. This flight will be the first in its long journey towards its final destination, the garbage patch in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Using the wind to guide it, the plastic bag moves across the city through the air. A city park. This park may at first seem an idyllic place for the plastic bag, but danger lurks round every corner. Here it will encounter many enemies, including one of the most dangerous, park services. Poor little fellow. Looks like his journey ends here. Meanwhile, our little bag has encountered one of nature's most deadly killers, the teacup Yorkie. Once the Yorkie has locked onto its victim, there's very little hope of survival. But using its superior size and deft maneuvering, our bag manages to escape the Yorkie's talons and flee for its life. Over the course of its miraculous migration, the plastic bag will cover vast distances through neighborhoods, across parks, and down city streets. It is now nightfall, and our highly advanced night vision cameras have managed to capture for the first time in history a plastic bag in pitch black. Phenomenal. The vast cement rivers of California, home to literally dozens of animals. Many plastic bags will not make it out of here. The reeds and branches will see to that. As at home in water as it is on land, or in the air, the bag's natural buoyancy makes it an excellent swimmer. It's close now, and it can feel it. At last, the bag has reached the gateway to the open sea. Careful to avoid the mouths of hungry sea life that feed on the helpless plastic, the bag will travel hundreds of miles to join the thriving community of plastic known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Garbage Patch is a veritable plastic oasis where millions of tons of plastic garbage remain trapped by the currents. 
it is said to be twice the size of Texas. Never actually biodegrading, here the plastic bag can live indefinitely, peacefully coexisting with billions of other petroleum species before breaking into ever tinier plastic pieces, thus completing the plastic cycle of life. Did you know if you read a thousand books by age five, it will benefit your success as a reader? We're having a book drive to help support an organization called A Thousand by Five. What is A Thousand by Five? It's an organization that collects books for kids under age five. A Thousand by Five collects board books and picture books. It reconditions the books and then gives them to kids that don't have books. After spring break, Library Squad will be collecting the books and the 1,000 by 5 pink bin. So if you'd like to donate some books, bring them in after spring and break. We'll send them in to 1,000 by 5 straight away. Thank you from Library Squad! Well, that's it for Friday Morning Live for this term. I hope everybody takes the time to be kind, be calm, stay safe, and have a great spring break. Goodbye, everybody. I'm off to find some bananas. Yay!